A very good morning to all the dignitaries present over here. I, Payal Gutke, Assistant Professor in Geotrisoni College of Engineering, along with Dr. Sonali Zoshi, Dr. Vani Patil, and Professor Swati Sorde, present paper in International Conference on Recent Trends in Machine Learning, IoT, Smart Cities, and Application on Stress Detection Using EEG Signal in Early Stage and Control Technique. These are the outlines for the today's presentation. Introduction Identification of stress is very important to reduce it. Stress is an important factor in imbalance of human nature and behavior. Due to this, many people face problems like not concentrating on work, headache, heartburn, hormonal changes, etc., which leads to change in their behavior. They feel angry, sad, and loss of mind and get frustrated. To measure the stress level, there are different variable sensors and biosignal processing technologies are available like EEG, ECG, EMG, BP, etc. There is uh, considering uh, distinctive uh, psychological features occur in human while individual is in stress or pressure. The assessment of stress are done by using bundle based assessment methodology. The EEG signal is a non-stationary, non-invasive technique which is used to measure and monitor the state of the brain signal. It is relatively inexpensive which will be helpful to do the research. EEG has number of medical uses ranging from normal to difficult situation for measurement and monitoring the brain wave which will contain unique information. Different characteristics of an EEG signal which consists of many waves has been recorded with the electrodes placed in the scalp distributed over the entire scalp. Even a single electrode pair can record large amount of data. The EEG recorded the electrical activity of the brain which measured in microvolts. Human EEG waves are delta, beta, alpha and theta are the main parameters of the frequency. The main objective of this uh, research is to extract the data from the human scalp using EEG electrode to analyze the EEG data and identify the stress by providing the solution to reduce the stress level. <laughs> Problem statement. Stress symptoms can affect your body, your thoughts and feelings and your behavior. Over time and con continued strain on your body from routine stress may contribute to serious health problems such as heart disease, heart blood pressure, diabetes and other illness, depression or anxiety. Being able to recognize common stress, uh, stress symptoms can give you a jump on existing solution and drawback of it. So, in this existing solution, it operates on a simple premise. When you are tense, your hands get cold. When you are relaxed, they warm up. By measuring the rapidly fluctuating temperature of a finger, the stress thermometer can help you learn to relax. Okay, so in this first figure, you can see the tense cold hands and hear the relaxed wa hands warm temperature. The drawback of this system is its reading failed during winters. It is only major temperature but not accurate level. It's not help to reduce. The main purpose of this work is to reduce the stress by using psychological signal processing technology into the system and to do the statistical analysis by identifying the stress level of human is reduced or not. In this approach, the figure shows in which the ROS EEG signal is contaminated with noise. This, uh, this is the raw signal from various structure and sources. To study the different brain function and its condition, EEG is one of the most common sources of information used to do that. It may include 50 to 60 hertz uh, uh, power line noise. The work of the classifier is to compare testing data with the baseline data. 
After pre-processing of EEG signal, feature extraction step need to be followed. The advantage of feature extraction is to remove dissimilarities from the number of features in the data set and from existing features, it creates the new features. It improves the accuracy, data visualization and speed up in training. Next, the stress detection and stress reduction will be uh, seen in the you can see the uh, stress detection. So here, what we in this, what we have did that we collect the data of the stress person, we load the uh, stress data, define its size, and by setting sample frequency and period 500 and 2 respectively. We plot the EEG data and thereby plotting EEG channels. Using FFT, we plot the power spectrum of the EEG data. We plot the waveform band of each wave, delta, beta, alpha, and theta by the use of filters. We reduce the noise and generate the noise-free signals. Similarly, we did, uh, we did for the reference signal. And by observing threshold value of the reference signal and the patient's EEG signal, we conclude that whether the patient is stressed or not. There are different bands by which we can identify that which data uh, it has, it has, uh, what data it will get interpreted. Okay, so here you can see the uh, delta band. This uh, figure shows the uh, delta band and single-sided amplitude spectrum of delta. This wave has frequency less than equal to 4 hertz and amplitude of delta is 20 to 200 microvolt. The power of delta wave increases during the difficult condition. Next is for the theta band. This is also the wave band uh, uh, single-sided amplitude spectrum. The theta wave has frequency 4 to 8 hertz with having amplitude of 20 microvolt. The power of the theta wave increases during stress. So by using the, uh, by comparing the normal EEG signal and the patient with EEG signal, we get the output or uh, output of the patient which is suffering from the stress level. Okay. Now, as we have detected the stress, there will be the uh, stress reduction technique. The figure which you are able to see that uh, the music model for the uh, reducing the stress. This, the fundamental work of the circuit that is IC1 APM 993D is the customized 103 note room memory which creates uh, 16 uh, melodic tunes when it gets set off. The main, the main component of this IC is it has inbuilt tone generator, musically, uh, musicality generator, modulator, oscillator, recurrence uh, divider, and preamplifier. This gives a benefit to interf uh, interface not, uh, not very many number of uh, parts remotely to construct an outer AF amplifier divider circuit and to set up timing. This in this, uh, what exactly it has been done? It uh, uh, based on this circuit, hardware module has been uh, prepared. So this is what is the interactive early stress detector, and this device. Uh, detects the pressure stress value. He, if he or she is suffering from stress, then it will give the measures to reduce the stress. In this circuit, we are using two electrodes to take the EEG wave and body register as an input to the A0 pin of Arduino. This input signal through 10 mega ohm ground resistor to A1 pin of Arduino so that signal will go to the A1 without any disturbance. And A1 pin is used for LCD display from which we can note distress value which whenever stress increases above the limit. The emitter collector gate short circuit and 
uh, will get short circuited and music will start playing to reduce the stress so here you can see the waveform as soon as stress will get detected the music will start to get played the conclusion in this we can conclude that this system consists of stress detection techniques by taking eeg signal from the human body suffering from stress it will calculate the stress value which will compare with threshold value as soon as stress value exceeds threshold value the music system starts playing which will reduce the stress threshold value this system is useful for real time stress monitoring for those who constant work under pressure in their day these are the references thank you